in this video i want to show you how you can be able to replace your custom background on the obs software now what this means if you don't have any green screen that you're using and you still want to be able to use a custom background maybe a studio background or the one you design using photoshop a random picture you downloaded online and you want to replace your custom background with it without any green screen at all i want to show you how you can be able to achieve this on the obs software just like this and as you can see my background there i'm not using any green screen at all and i'm able to change this and i can use any type of background i like to use seeing it doing like this because i have the fan that is currently blowing here in my room yeah let's dive in and let me show you how you can be able to play around with this and replace your background with a custom background without any green screen at all on the obs software open your browser so whichever one you're using there are two plugins that you can actually use to remove your background and replace it with a custom background on the obs software now the first one is the virtual background by ai segment there's also this another one which is the background remover virtual green screen low light enhancer 1.1.4 but i found out that the virtual background by ai segment is the best one because it uses less cpu while the second one which is the background remover virtual green screen light and low light enhancer consumes more cpu i'll go ahead and download it i'm also going to drop the link of this in the description of this particular video now you see the download button here click on this download button once the page has finished loading you're going to see first download the zip file this is the zip file here this is the one you're going to download the ai remove bg so click on this ai remove bg here and once you click on that it's going to open another page you're going to see sorry about that but we can't show files that are big at this big right now so once you already see this just click on this raw view raw raw here this view raw here click on this view raw and then another page is going to load up and the download will start okay so just with that you'll be able to download it now once you've already finished downloading remember i dropped the link in the description of this particular video so you check it out and it will make the whole thing easier for you now we need to install the file which is the ai remove bg now extract it let's right click on it and extract the file extract here now once you finish extracting the file open the extracted file double click it and then double click it again you're going to see two folder inside now the data and then the obs plugins these two here very important this is what we need now copy these two files here just right click and then copy once you've already copied that go over to your desk pc and then your local disk this one here right click on your local disk go over to program files this one here so go over to program files here double click on the program files scroll down to you see obs studio this one this is what we need here double click on the obs studio and then here just paste the two files that we copied that's the data and then the obs plugin this is the two file here replace continue and that's simple so i'm going to skip this option because the obs is on already so i didn't close the obs that is what i'm using to record this video so it won't be able to pay successfully i just cancel this and then once you've already done this close the folder go ahead and open your obs software and also make sure that while you are copying and pasting the file the obs software is not open okay so if not it's not going to copy and paste once you already brought in the camera that you're using just like my hair i'm currently using my phone that's a drug cam obs and it's connected through usb not wi-fi which is why it's like this it actually syncs and the quality is nice the camera you already brought in on obs that's the phone cam here my right click on that and then go over to filters the filters at the top here so click on the filters and this is what you are going to see see here the filters for it and up you see audio and video filters and then down you see filter effect filters so on the up one click on the add button there there's this plus sign there click on the add button and then you see the ai remove underscore bg there if it doesn't appear just restart your pc okay or and make sure you copy the file the way i copied my and paste the folder where i pasted my and you should be able to see this and the obs software shouldn't be running while you're doing that now select this ai remove underscore bg and this is it so you can use it to also blow your background you see use it to blow my background and then if you want to use it to remove your custom background that you're currently making use of just go ahead and select this you can see 
I want to use a custom one just click on this browse button here this browse button here click on that and then go over to the image or the one you want to use as your background or whichever one you already have running on your pc okay you can go ahead and select that particular image let me just scroll up and then select this one click on open and this is it this is a new background that i have now so you can actually use anything at all that you want to use as your background but this this way it just focuses more on the subject which is you and this one is actually okay i can also put it on raw video now one thing to note while you are doing this is that this uses less of your cpu okay so it doesn't consume much but it should be using a good system maybe like if you're not using an nvidia graphics pc maybe if you're using an intel i5 you should upgrade it to up to 12 gig ram so not 4 gig ram and then you want to do this now it's you have an issue with it or maybe a 3 gig ram or 4 gig ram or 8 gig ram intel i5 and then you are doing this you have an issue with it so if you're using an i5 or an i7 it should be something 6th gen or 7th gen and then 12 gig ram or 16 gig ram should be fine then you are good to go so you won't have any problem while you are carrying out this tutorial in case you love it consider subscribing to the channel and a like will really be appreciated see you on the next one